Hey there, this needs Beardfoot and today we are making a field bottle from leather. Starting with the pattern as always, print it out, cut away any excess and tape pieces together. The round side walls do not necessarily have to be cut out in detail since we are using a wing divider to get the circle. Next we put the pattern on the leather and cut it out for the side strap. You can use a strap cutter and as mentioned for the round side walls a wing divider. Just make sure we do not leave a hole in the middle of the circle. For the side straps you want to leave some excess leather. Cutting some grooves in the flesh side to make bending easier. With a beveler you can cut the edges of the holders. And then thin out the ends a little bit to make it fit more smooth. Next we are moistening the pieces from both sides. Here I'm using a groove cutter in reverse so I do not cut, only mark an area on the flesh side. This guideline helps you preparing the side walls and give it a round shape. Punch some holes for the sewing, but only on the side walls for now. With a bone folder, then you want to stretch out the marked area to give the whole side piece a more outwards bent round shape. Mark the drinking opening on the side piece as well as the punching holes and use a wing divider to cut already a little bit in the leather and then use a small knife to cut everything out completely. With a beveler you can smoothen the edge as well as with a burnisher. Already bend the sides for sewing upwards but not too much since we need to put on some dye first. If you have, you can use a spray gun to get on some paint. Just make sure you got some good ventilation or simply go outside. But you also can use a sponge to get on the dye. After that, you can glue and sew together the drinking opening and sew it on the side strap. Question the side that will be sewn on the side strap and bend it a little bit outwards. Place it on the opening and mark the holes for sewing. When you sew, you really want to make sure that you sew it really really tight. Else later on you might run into trouble making it watertight. Glue the holders around the D-rings, cut away any excess, re-dye it if necessary and put them on the side piece with the rivets. So here comes the little bit tedious part. You want to put contact cement on one side of the side straps and on one of the side wall and set it set for a few minutes and then press it together. It will be a little bit of finger work but these clamps are really helping here. Where the ends of the side strap come together you want to moisten the leather a little bit and then form it really really close together and use a bone folder to help you with that. When it's dry, use an awl to cut the holes completely through and then sew them really tight together.
And then the same procedure with the other side. It's a little bit more tricky since you can't place your hand on the inside, but it's more easier since the rough shape is already established. This is what you should have now. The ends you want to just sew together and now you can cut away any excess leather, sandpaper it, bevel it, re-dye it and burnish it. I wasn't completely satisfied with the shape of the bottle, so I put some water in, took it out again and then put in some rice and press it in to press it the walls from the inside out and give the walls a little bit more of a round shape. If you are already satisfied with the shape of your bottle, you can skip this part. For the wax, you want to use beeswax and really use a high quality to make sure there are no contaminations inside since you will drink from that. Use a big spoon, put it some in and then turn the bottle around to distribute the wax everywhere. You really want to focus the drinking opening since there is the highest chance that it will get some leakage. I got plenty of excess wax here, but with a simple hair dryer or a heat gun I can remove and distribute the wax easily. Burnishing the edges for a nice finish and then get a cork for the closure. To make the cork fit perfectly you want to put it in and then heat it up and let it cool down. After that you can add in a leather strap on the cork to make it hold to the bottle and you're done. You maybe have to repeat the wax part on the drinking opening a few times to make sure it's completely tight, but apart from that it's easy to handle and a nice piece. I hope you like this, do the YouTube stuff, see you guys next time, have a great day.